Hey, what's up, guy? It's your man Supremo here. Getting this cardio done. I just finished 30 minutes running. So I'm doing now walking long and dance for five to 10 minutes. So today is a mother card day. No workouts. I'm not gonna do no workout, which is why I run to make sure I keep depleting my glycogen level. One thing I would say is that most individual will try to lose some random workout. They get so focused into getting like a hardcore workout in which they are challenged themselves. In the past, when I did my first two transformation, even my last, I was able to prove that your same workout routine could work for you to lose the fat and it could also work for you to build muscle without the losing fat effect by just changing the way you're eating. So if you have your own workout routine, you should just follow that. Where you're failing is not the workout at some point, maybe it will be in your nutrition part of the diet. So you could change your routine back and forth as you wish, but mainly your problem won't be your workout routine. Most likely it will be your diet. So don't get so focused into, oh, I gotta do this routine, I gotta do this new routine, and the next new routine that's coming up is supposed to make me feel, feel muscle, become super strained, not really. Not really. Focus more on your nutrition and getting your protein in to make sure you're building and prioritizing muscle growth. And there are some workouts in which you are able to develop through strength. I have designed some of those workouts, and I know not all workouts are built different, the same, sorry. Some of them are a little bit different, especially if you're trying to target strength gain, which is not the same as muscle building. It's a different thing. But if you're trying to follow and get through strength, I designed a workout that could help you. So shoot me a message and I'll send that over. I'll explain to you what you gotta do. But besides the point, you guys do not focus much on changing workout here and there, at least for three to six month period. I guarantee you that your workout is not the problem if you're not getting any result. So your result is not coming because you're messing up in your diet. And until you start dialing it in, exactly what is it that you're doing with consistency, without not making a mistake, you will know that the results that you're looking for are far from you to get. Because you're thinking you're doing something specifically right, but you're not. Which is shows in the result that you're getting. And again, in the protocol, if you happen to mess up, I laid out for you the way you could come back from the mess up so you could continue to gain results. So, I'll give you an example. Today I was coaching one of them clients, and he said to me, oh, I'm noticing that I'm gaining a little bit of weight. So I started asking him some questions, and I figured out that he was eating three to four handful of peanuts, snacking through that every day. Now, in his mind, he did not know that he was doing it right. That's what he thought in his mind, that everything was done right. He didn't realize the peanut also has carbon, high amount of fat. Apparently healthy fat, which is not a problem, but when consuming out of proportion like he was, most likely than not, you're gonna do the opposite of what you're trying to do, which is gain fat. Now, he, a serving of peanut most likely is 14 to 17 pieces now. How many people out there actually count the pieces of peanut? He was just eating probably a bag, maybe two bags a day consistently and his concern is that he think he's putting in weight and he asked me if it was the protein shake that he's ingesting because he wasn't working out or protein is hard for you to not impossible but it's pretty hard for you to convert it into fat so there is most likely something else that you 
overdoing in his case one of the things that could point out is the peanut but then again he don't even track what he eats so how can i be certain that it's only the peanut if he's making that mistake on the peanut what else can he be making a mistake of so for him he was just eating no carbs but with the peanut alone he's eating over 40 50 grams of carbs a day not including the 50 to probably 70 grams or extra fat that she putting on inside his system. So imagine that. If you're born to lose the fat, consistently is a deficit by manipulating some of the macros, you are taking away the deficit by overdoing your fat in carbs. In his case, he was doing those, but he wasn't aware. So again, if your results are not getting what you need to get, most likely than not, there's something in your diet that you're overdoing. Very well will be the protein. Guarantee you that. And sometimes, could be that you overdoing your cardio. That's not his case. But it been my ca- in my case, it had been that. That I'm overdoing my cardio and my extra activity, which is raising up my cortisol and stress level in my body. And because the body is already stressed because of the diet itself, raising it past the normal threshold that I need to get a consistent result would just stall or blow my metabolism. Which, to undo the damage, might take you a few refeed days. So, enough of that with the topic. So, subscribe to the channel if you haven't now. If you got any questions, Leave a comment below, I'll answer them. Get your copy of the protocol if you haven't, as of yet, to make sure you get a consistent result for power gain, so you can look lean in me. And for those of you who are already working out and don't know which supplement to take, I already got a supplement list inside the book for you to buy. And you could check out the people on powerlinenutrition.com. They know what to do, they know how to do it, and they deliver the quality product for the price that you deserve. Catch you guys later.